I was a heathen. Until recently, it held the unwanted title of a state with the highest number of prescriptions per resident. With that came a large number of prescription drug addiction and death. Leaders in the counter drug deal in Tennessee have some experience dealing with prescription drug abuse, and people in the rest of the nation might be able to learn from their experience. So a lot of prescription drug abuse in my states, like I've been saying. We have to slice out of this car, we gotta have to slice it. Take a slice out of it. Any way you look at it. Slice it. Slice it through. Understand? I hope you do. <laughs> so um prescription drug abuse is a serious issue. I may as well live by the sword, you know, if I was a heathen. I'd say, you know, I'm just gonna live by the sword because I almost died by the pill, not the sword, so uh, I'm just a lot safer doing it this way than doing it, you know, this way. I mean uh, so I'd sit this way. Down with prescription pills, down with it, down with forced psychiatry and trying to convince people at this hospital. Oh, you know, it's just, just an industry of death where they make money, you try to convince you to take the pill. You take the pill, you get drugged up and sedated, and you live, you die. Some of you live just drugged up all da da da, instead of active, politically active, especially. Especially if you have weapons and not to shoot. This is like one of my last weapons that I got available to me because I got raided by the police and sent to a mental hospital from my political point of view and getting to argue with my parents and, you know, saying, oh, I'm gonna burn the house down. You know, who gives a fucking shit? You know what I'm saying? It was something they knew I wasn't gonna do, but, you know, when they let go, let's just give them an excuse, have the excuse ready, boom. I was in the fucking, uh, so-and-so. Then I was transferred out and the parents didn't want to take me home, didn't have my phone right, didn't have my shit right, you know what I'm saying? And it was just all horrible, horrible experience. So, we don't balance our chi, and, you know, regardless, I fall on my sword, you know, metaphorically, for my family. I may as well put the sword to my stomach, because eventually it's, it's pills to give me. They got me on a cocktail, a mean one. Got to get into it. A lot of haters listening, trying to, trying to laugh at my uh, every mistake. <coughs> what goes when it comes around, but they're laughing at my uh, downfall. You know, some might be laughing at theirs or something like that. I don't know. What we got in those. But as we go on in this series, you know, God wills it until the end. You know, I'm ready. My yin and yang balance. Ready to just take them on to the end. So get ready, get with them. You know it is. Mr. Right, a lot of youthful observers left in me. I'm getting old and uh, can't protect this world forever. You know. Pyramid Temple, they just wanted to get at my stuff and get at me for all the stuff I said. They wanted to put me on pedals because they know my, my videos were about that, but I'm not going to get into it because I'm moving beyond that. You know, even my haters are still there. And they're still watching and whatnot. I'm just gonna keep it, keep it rosy, you know, keep it, keep it smooth. Take them out quicker than they think I could do. But, uh, anyway, I'm uh, tired as a rapper. I'm tired of all my series, but one, the psychiatry one, the Swiss one. And I got psychiatry videos in between and stuff, so this probably around, around 10 right by now. But I got, I got in between from other, uh, other sources. I decided to, to do, um, credible sources and somewhat credible news stations so you can truly see that there's a lot of people that agree with my sources and this is just my first hand account mixed with a lot of facts and articles and I just really get deep into it. And I hope by now if you've been following my videos that you truly see. Psychiatry is a fraud, but it does help some people because you give people who are miserable some drugs that make them happy and numb and you know, I'm not gonna really get into details but you can you can see you know, connect the rest of us from there. This is the problem. The problem is there's scum and they should be took out by the soldier for all the people they killed with the pill. You know, 
pills. People who sniff the pills, people who go inject the pill. But mostly it's just to take too much of the pill. They keep popping, keep popping. And I pop it with alcohol a lot, and next you know, shh, shot to God. You know, so. Once your life gets worn out by a bunch of pills, thank you very much.